Have you ever been greeted with, did you eat rice, instead of, how are you? Did you know it's perfectly okay to enjoy alcoholic drinks in public in South Korea? South Koreans also work an impressive 55 hours a week, and they even have museums dedicated to poop. Even one former mayor turned his toilet-shaped house into a museum. K-pop and K-dramas have captivated audiences worldwide with their catchy tunes and gripping stories. From ancient traditions to futuristic cities, South Korea, the land of the morning calm, has it all. In 1945, World War II ended, and the Japanese occupation of Korea ceased. The Korean peninsula was divided along the 38th parallel, with Soviet troops in the north and U.S. troops in the south. This division set the stage for the birth of two separate Koreas. By 1948, the Republic of Korea, commonly known as South Korea, was officially established. However, tensions between the North and South quickly escalated. In 1950, North Korea invaded South Korea, sparking the Korean War. This conflict was brutal, with significant casualties on both sides, and it lasted until 1953. Although a treaty was signed, technically, the war never officially ended, and the two Koreas remain divided to this day. The 1960s brought significant changes to South Korea. In 1961, a military coup led by General Park Chung-hee ushered in a period of rapid industrialization and economic growth, often referred to as the miracle on the Han River. Despite the economic progress, Park's regime was also marked by authoritarian rule. The 1980s were a time of political upheaval, with martial law and widespread student demonstrations calling for democratic reforms. In 1987, these protests reached a peak, leading to significant political changes and the eventual democratization of South Korea. The 1990s marked South Korea's shift to high-tech industries, positioning the country as a global leader in technology and innovation. President Kim Dae-jung's Sunshine Policy in 1998 aimed to improve relations with North Korea through economic and humanitarian aid. By 2002, the opening of Incheon International Airport symbolized South Korea's increased global connectivity. Despite the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, South Korea's economy showed resilience, with its GDP growing rapidly. In 2021, South Korea's GDP reached $1.82 trillion, making it the 10th largest economy in the world. This economic success is driven by key industries such as electronics, automobiles, and shipbuilding. It is clear why it happened given that South Koreans work an impressive 52 hours a week, or an estimated 2,000 hours a year. On the other hand, the normal weekly schedule for an American factory worker is 40 hours. The South Korean flag, known as the Tegukgi, is full of meaning. The white background symbolizes peace and purity. This reflects Korea's traditional name, Chosun, which means land of the morning freshness or land of the morning calm. At the center of the flag is the Taeguk, a red and blue circle representing balance in the universe, similar to the yin yang. This symbol embodies the concept of duality, showing the interplay of opposites like light and dark, male and female, and good and evil. Surrounding this circle are four black trigrams, each symbolizing different natural elements and principles. These trigrams represent heaven, earth, fire, and water. They also stand for the four cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. The four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter, and Confucian virtues like wisdom, benevolence, righteousness, and propriety. In 1984, the flag's design was standardized, ensuring the precise positioning of the trigrams and color specifications. South Korea is located on the southern half of the Korean peninsula, 
and covers about over 100,000 square kilometers, or over 38,000 square miles. The country is mostly mountainous, with the Taybak Mountains running down its east coast. The highest peak is Halasan, a volcano on Jeju Island, standing at almost 2,000 meters, or more than 6,000 feet. The country is rich in biodiversity, home to over 4,000 plant species. Evergreen forests cover the southern regions, while deciduous forests with oaks, maples, and alders dominate the rest of the country. Pine trees are particularly common, and unique species like the Korean fir add to the country's natural beauty. South Korea's capital, Seoul, is a bustling metropolis known for its modern skyline and ancient temples. It is the heart of the country, blending history with innovation. To the north, the Demilitarized Zone, or DMZ, separates South Korea from North Korea, serving as a buffer zone between the two nations. The Yellow Sea borders the western coast, while the East Sea, or Sea of Japan, borders the eastern coast. Its neighboring countries are North Korea, Japan, and China. There are some really strange museums in South Korea, such as Poopoo Land, which is entirely about poop. If that's not weird enough, there's also the Hai Wuje Museum, a toilet-shaped residence formerly owned by a previous mayor who was so fascinated with toilets that he turned his house into a museum, which you can visit for free. South Korea experiences cold winters and hot summers. Winter temperatures can drop below freezing, with lows around negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit, while summer temperatures can soar up to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. According to Worldometer's elaboration of the latest United Nations data, South Korea has a population of about 51 million people. It's a highly urbanized country with most people living in cities. Religiously, around 57% of the population is non-religious, while Protestant Christians, Buddhists, and Catholics make up significant portions. Education is highly valued, with a structured system that includes six years of elementary school, three years of middle school, three years of high school, and four years of university, or two to three years, at a junior college. South Korea has one of the highest literacy rates in the world and is known for its rigorous education system. Rather than asking, how are you, in greetings, South Koreans frequently say, have you had rice? This unusual statement expresses their care for your well-being. In this country, it's perfectly okay to enjoy alcoholic drinks in public. You can carry your open bottle or can of alcohol and even have a sip or two while you're out and about. Economically, South Korea has transformed from a low-income country to a high-income economy, known for innovation and technology. The country is home to major global companies like Samsung, Hyundai, and LG. Korean is the official language, and the population is largely homogeneous, although there's a small Chinese minority and an increasing number of immigrants. South Korea is the birthplace of many global celebrities, especially in the entertainment industry. Members of BTS like Jungkook and V, actor Song Joong-ki, and Blackpink's Rosé are internationally renowned. These figures have played significant roles in promoting South Korean culture worldwide. K-pop is the most famous aspect of South Korean music, but the country also enjoys hip-hop, R&B, rock, and indie music. Popular pastimes include hiking, biking, swimming, and martial arts like Taekwondo. Watching baseball and soccer matches is also a favorite activity, with sports playing a major role in South Korean leisure time. When it comes to food, South Korean cuisine is a treat for the taste buds. This country takes the crown for producing more than 90% of the world's seaweed. This nutrient-rich marine delicacy plays a significant role in Korean cuisine and is enjoyed in various forms, from sushi rolls to snacks and side dishes. Traditional dishes like kimchi, bibimbap, bulgogi, and teokbokki are staples, 
while street foods like hatiok and gimbap are crowd favorites. Kimchi, a spicy fermented cabbage dish, is probably the most famous Korean food and is enjoyed with almost every meal that has varieties. If you enjoyed this video on South Korea, you'll love this next one.